I think the best way to describe the Duke of Burgundy is it's about, it's a film, it's about a world without men, for one. And it's about a relationship within that world. And it's quite a profound relationship and they're trying to, it's a relationship where they, um, one of them is kind of getting bored. And they, there's these two contrasting personalities and it's, by the end it's kind of heartbreaking. Um, but one of them is trying to kind of liven up the relationship and the other one, it, it's, there's a clash, personality clash. I mean, it's a really... It's a love story. It's a really accurate love story. It's a really yeah. accurate uh, portrayal of, of what normal relationships are like, you know, in, in an unusual setting. And that's kind of, I don't know, it's... Uh, and I guess there's the sadomasochistic element to it. Um, and, and I think the other thing that was a mistake in some reviews was it was described as a lesbian relationship, but it, it's not really because it's a world without men. He heard our first record and he got in touch with us actually quite a long time before the film yeah. uh, was, was ready to be worked on. Uh, he first he first tried to get in touch with us through through Chris Cunningham and I and I, I just you know he passed on a message through him that he was trying to you know and then and then we didn't actually speak to him for another maybe six months after that uh, and we met up just to just to talk and you know I don't know see you know see he didn't what know we could orchestrate or do like I think he he liked her music but it hadn't been I don't think he knew until we met the and then he took a chance. Yeah. He, just, he went for it. <laughs> no, right from the beginning, he mailed the script, which was incredible. It was uh, impossible to imagine what the film would be like with the script, because there's these insects in it and um, these strange characters. It was quite characters. visual, though, the it script was. as well. Like, you sort yeah. of, it, it straight away seemed exciting. I mean, but it wasn't even cast <clears throat> at that point. You know, we didn't yeah. even know who was going to be in it, what they would look like, whatever, you know. So. And location. He yeah. kept us in touch throughout the whole process, which was really exciting because I've never had that. That's been through probably, that that's process. That's really quite unusual, isn't I it? I think so. He sent, as soon as he found the house, the location in the movie, he sent a photo of that. When he cast people, he let us know. And then you could, it was so fun to write to that because then you can write a piece of music for a house and a piece of music for the personality that's in the script or the way the woman might look even. The visual is so important to music. And then he started sending pieces of music that he used as temp music, maybe when they were filming and things maybe he had ideas for, but the whole time he would send reference music, he would always say, but just, you do what, you, I wanna see what you would do anyway. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll go from there. Um, he was, it was kind of perfect because there were some rules. He said he liked the oboe um, and he liked harpsichords and he liked, you know, we knew what he liked. So there were some rules, but with those rules, we could do anything we wanted. It was sort of an ideal situation, really. He made us, you know, he made us really aware of his taste, you know, which is yeah. really what you want people to do. You know, you want, you want them to say what they like, you know, not be, you want them to be direct about it. And he was, you know, great in that sense and then and then we were just kind of free to go off in that direction and you know do whatever we wanted with it and then when it got when when the pieces became more finished he would be more specific like you know I like those hand claps you know um, and he and his attention to de detail was quite fine as well you know as you'd kind of imagine um, but I mean really he was kind of the he was meticulous without with. being a control freak yeah it was really easy. We were really lucky. Yeah. Because for a first experience, it's pretty incredible to have such an amazing film. And then someone who's easy to work with who doesn't have a massive ego. Yeah. And like trusts you and doesn't panic, you know, and the panic patient. Is. He took, waited for us. We like kind of delayed things at the end even really, didn't we? Yeah. I mean, he was, yeah, was lucky. I think it's easier to write a score than an album yeah. because of the stuff about the rule being reined in a little bit. And I think in some ways it's harder to, for everyone in general to make themselves happy before another person is happy. So if it's easier to make another person happy and think of them. And also the film dictates everything. It, it, it's guiding the music. It's about that. And the album, it's, sometimes it's autobiographical, an album, or 
there's other things guiding an album. The film, there's pictures and there's a director and a story and I think the things more, guiding like, for you. The more, the more questions you, you kind of remove from the creative process, the easier it is in some ways. And, and actually, sometimes the more creative it is, you know, like you can be more creative if you have pr some parameters. I yeah. Think. And it's actually kind of, it's fun to write songs like that as well because you know, if you say you know you have to write under you know this amount of time, like having these no money. chords, whatever. Yeah. It's like, like having no budget for a film makes you more creative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And same with writing. If you have tons of restrictions, it makes you more well. With that, maybe I can. Yeah. It's, and then it makes it more fun. Yeah. I mean, we we you know, well. I, most bands talk about wanting to do a sound. Yeah, every musician wants to. But I think, but we felt like after we after we finished our first record, you know, we felt like that we we felt that it would be the natural thing for us to do, and it would be a fun thing, you know, it would be something that we would enjoy exploring, and it would suit our music and the identity of the band. Um, and it's not really about the band. I think that's what I like about it is it's about something else yeah. when you do. It, nothing, nothing, it's not about you or anyone, it's just uh, this the film, and if the film is good... In general, I mean. Yeah.